Hey guys, uh, welcome to your uh, singles love reading for uh, Scorpio. This is going to be for the um, month of your March. From the uh, for the month of March, you can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. So we're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love, um, and we'll take a look and see what your blocks and challenges are in finding love, and then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, um, if there's anyone new coming towards you. So apply this to your own unique situation, switch the roles if there's someone else involved in this situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Scorpio people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. All right, so Scorpio, tell me about Scorpio in love. What's going on with Scorpio in love? What's going on with single Scorpio people in love? For uh, March 2023, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for single Scorpio people. Well, okay. So, all right, we have the Knight of Wands and the Ace of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Not Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. We have the Four of Wands and the Six of Cups. You know, I feel like the current situation that you're in is that someone here from your past could be rushing back, sneaking back into your life, wanting a new beginning here, okay? Whoever this individual is, this is, this is an individual that hasn't been able to move on without you, okay? We have the Chariot and the uh, Queen of Wands. Now, um... Scorpio, it could be a situation that you've completely moved on from this individual. You've, uh, you know, you, you know, you started, uh, you started a new beginning here for yourself. Okay, you're doing well on your own here, but uh, yeah, I do feel like we have some here that's definitely rushing back in. Uh, we have the King to Queen of Wands here. This is a true pair. This is a true pair here. We have some here that's definitely chasing you, definitely wanting a reconciliation here. Uh, so the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, Judgment, Sagittarius, Energy. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles here and the Page of Wands. I mean, we have someone here that's coming in, rushing back in very quick. But, you know, with the King of Wands looking away from this queen, uh, you know, I feel like you're this masculine here. You don't want anything to do with this person. Like I said, you're fine on your own. Your money is great. You're focusing on yourself. You're focusing on, on aligning yourself here. Okay, so uh, let's see what else we have here. Um, Blocks and challenges that single Scorpio is facing in finding love. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for March 2023. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for single Scorpio people. We have the Queen of Cups and the Hangman. Whoever this is, I do feel like we have someone here that's having a hard time letting you go because I do feel like, you know, this person's still holding space for you or that you're holding space for this individual. And I feel like it's keeping you from actually, you know, pursuing any further with the with people that you meet here. Like, I feel like you're, you know, talking to people, talking to people online, talking to people on dating websites, you're getting together with people here. But, you know, it could be a situation that you still have someone in the back burner here. You know, um, let's see what else we have here. We have the Two of Swords and the Six of Swords. You know, you're not quite sure if you're ready to move on from somebody. I feel like you're trying. Yeah, I feel like you're trying. Um, we have Temperance, Sagittarius Energy. We have the Queen of Cups and the uh, Temperance card. We have the Four of Cups here. Whoever this is, I do feel like this is an individual that's looking to get your attention here. Okay, you know, when it comes to uh, romance right now, perhaps a lot of you guys are not really ready to emotionally invest or that you just don't want to deal with the drama that comes along with their relation with the relationship. We have, uh, two of swords here and the devil Capricorn energy. So what's happening here is I feel like perhaps this per perhaps there is some sort of like energetic cord between you and your person. Okay, this is a past person and you feel like, 
you know, you could be having a difficult time with this because of that energetic cord. Uh, that energetic cord needs to be cut. Yeah, uh, I mean, uh, Scorpio, I definitely see you healing from this or trying to heal from this, trying to put yourself first, okay? So let's see what else we have here. What else does a, a single Scorpio need to know, look out for, work on here? Is there anyone new coming towards single Scorpio's way for March 2023? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for single Scorpio. Seven of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Wands and the Nine of Cups. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles here and the Nine of Swords. Seven of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. You know, one of the things I'm getting is that you're learning not to give too much too quickly here. Okay? You know, I feel like another thing that you're learning here is about boundaries. With the Ace of Wands here and the Nine of Cups, I do feel like you're trying to, you're definitely finding that inner fire within yourself. You're definitely finding happiness on your own. Like I said, I feel like you're trying to align yourself here or find some sort of alignment, you know, when it comes to your happiness. Uh, uh, Ten of Pentacles here and the Nine of Swords. You know, I just feel like there's an energy of needing to be good with yourself first before you jump into another relationship. I do feel like the thought of it could stress you out. You know, when it comes to new love right now, I, I just feel like you're guarded here. You know, I just feel like with the Four of Swords here, you're focusing on your healing. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is that with the Seven of Pentacles here and the Hermit, you know, I just feel like a lot of you guys are doing some soul searching here. I do believe that you guys are this masculine. You know, I just feel like this time around, uh, you're looking. Uh, you're 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 trying to be smarter about you. You know the next person that you pursue here. Um, one of the things I'm getting here is that you know there could be a, an empress that's coming in for you, Scorpio. The thing is, I just feel like you're not ready for this individual because I feel like you're still working on you know working on your mental health here. You know you're just working and taking care of you. Like I said, I feel like you're. You know, I do feel like, you know, you could have gone through some sort of traumatic experience here, okay? And I feel like you're trying to put yourself first in this very moment here. I mean, you're definitely getting a lot of, you know, I do feel like, you know, you're attracting a lot of people here. But, you know, I feel like when it comes to, ro like, romance, relationships here, I do feel like there's a fear of getting hurt. So that's why I feel like you're not ready. But I feel like if you do the work, you know, I do feel like the universe is going to reward you here in the future, you know? I feel like the universe will reward you with a relationship here when you least expect it. And I feel like it could be this empress that's coming in for you. Yeah, whoever this is, this is an individual that's the real deal, okay? I, the thing is, I feel like it's going to take some time here before that happens. I feel like it's not going to be immediate. It's going to take some time, all right? So Scorpio, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys. Bye.